Hi guys, I'm coming today with another haul, another one I know, um, that's all I seem to film, that's because that's what I'm most confident filming, but I shall get there. Um, I ordered from two online places and um, got some stuff in my town. Um, I'm going to start with the cheapest one um, and I placed an order with everycraftsapound.co.uk I think that's the way that you keep them up. Uh, is the one address on here? No. Um, so, yeah. I placed an order with them because I like to get all my adhesives from them. Because the title was in the name. Every craft's a pound. Some things I bought were less than a pound. But I will tell you the price of everything as I go through it. Um, so, firstly is this tonic studios i you probably can't see that i can barely see it um without the camera can you no it just looks like a white label it says forever memories and it's basically mod podge um and it's called pure adhesive matte i don't like shiny glue um but can i get this one open i've been using it i haven't used a whole lot um oh I know I can't get the on. This is 250ml, cost me a pound. Um, so I bought two. So that's those. Oh, I'll move those over that side actually so they don't get shadowy. Um, next, I picked up. Uh, I shall show you all the adhesives first and then what I picked up. That's nice. Um, picked up these Stick It 3D Foam Adhesive Squares, generic. Uh, there is, what does it say on the back? Yeah, 940 in there. Again, only a pound, so, oh, again, I bought two. Um, I then picked up this pack of Westcott replacement scalpel blades for my Westcott scalpel, craft knife, whatever you want to call it, um, just purely because I have got quite a few left but I don't want to run out um, because it's one of the best craft knives I've ever had um, and I believe it's stainless steel. I don't think it says it on there. Does it say on the back? No, it just says replacement blades for hobby knife. Um, but again, they were only a pound. Sorry, I feel like I've got something in my eye. Uh, then I picked up this. Sorry, I'm missing two something but they must be in the other drawer never mind picked up two red tapes you've seen these in a video of mine before um they're the six mil again two for a pound sorry they pack it with all these stupid little group of circles I just put them in. um i then picked up two of the four mil Again, two for a pound. I then ventured and I got some of their terrible tape, which you can see there's a lot more on the roll. A lot, lot more. Again, it said high tack, two for a pound, but I bought four. I bought two sets, so I have four rolls. I'm just not entirely sure where I've put the other two. Um, I think they're over this, this side of my craft room. Um, but yeah, again, two for a pound. Now we're going to get into the nicer stuff. Um, and the next thing I picked up for a pound was a Tonic Studios paper punch. I have punched one out, hence there's bits in there. But that, I thought that was really cool. You can either punch it so that you get no leftovers, or you can just flip that bit up and you can keep your little butterflies, because I picked the butterfly border punch. 
and you just slide that bit in. So it's lockable as well, which I thought was really cool. Um, but again, a pound. And this is what it looks like. And I just bought it because I liked the butterflies. Um, so again, a pound. Um, picked up some more Santoro Mirabelle. I think it's Mirabelle. Yes. Uh, Ask Me to Dance collection, it's called. Um, and it's just the stripes. I think I've opened it. I have, but I've stuck it all back down and I'm not going to try and reopen it. Um, you all know what decoupage paper looks like. There's three in there. So, but that was 50 pence. I then picked up some paper doilies. Never worked with doilies before, so I jump in feet first and buy a pack of 30. Um, I'm sure I'll manage to do something else with them if I don't like them in scrapbooks. Um, but they were 50 pence as well. And then lastly, from every craft of pound were two packs of these Santoro Mirabelle glitter stickers. Um, I love the cat and I don't even like cats. Um, but it's double sided. So I'll just give you an overview of that one. I really like this one. Sorry, I'm trying to do this through the camera. This one here. Um, I have her in stamp form and this one I have in stamp. Um, and then that's the front. So, and you even get the flowers that are glittered, the label, um, some labels. Uh, I can't quite read what that says in there. Oh, it says Ask Me to Dance. So this is again the Ask Me to Dance collection. Um, but there is... It doesn't tell me how many stickers are in there, but I like them. Um, and they have glitter on. So that's everything I got from Every Crafts a Pound. I will just move all of this. Sorry, I know this is the... I don't know how to edit parts out. I'm not, I'm not that technical yet. Um, so I'm literally... My drawers sit right next to my desk, so... I'm going to just stuff it all in there. Okay. And... Even though I said everything's a pound, it is reduced from its normal price. So I paid £12.50 for all of that, but it should have cost me £43.90. So I'm not complaining, that's why I buy from these places. Um, next, I play... Oh, I forgot something from every crust band. Blue roller. Not that interesting, but I needed one. Love those things. Um, next, I placed an order with Do Crafts. Um, I believe it's said to do crafts. I don't know. I don't particularly care. Um, I just like it. I've been wanting to place an order with do crafts forever. Um, so I plucked up the courage and also my partner was just like, just do it. Because um, I was moaning about it. So the first thing I picked up was the do crafts creativity magazine. This one is issue 57 so April 2015 um, and it specialises on the new gorgeous girls collection um, and free with it came a 10 metre washi tape a Santoro gorgeous girls um, A6 decoupage kit and it comes with the decoupage and like the matching paper if you like I really like this one because it's a little bunny um, and also a mini pack of buttons with polka dots on and I'm even thinking about removing the staple as gently as I can and keeping that bit um, but yeah there's purple, blue, lime green, navy and like a really pale pink but it's showing up almost white on camera this one here and they've all got white polka dots on um, and there's 30 in there it's a first thing and that one was a pound down from 4 99 the second thing I picked up was another magazine um, and this what well, this is issue 60 which is July 2015 um, I know it seems strange that I'm buying out of date magazines but I really really like it's not to do with the free stuff it's not to do with 
whether I'm up to date or not. It is literally because I get a lot of inspiration from them. Um, but I don't mind the free stuff, I'm not complaining. Um, the first free thing that was in here is these uh, 12 pieces of the Ducraft's Paper Mania Floral Folk. Um, and it's just like little die cut tags and little notelets things. It does, they do call them little notes. Um, but as you can see from the back, they are die cut. And I also got this Forever Friends. Can I get that? Yes. Forever Friends Classic Decadence A5 paper pack. 24 pack, six individual designs, which are the ones you can see here. So I'm not going to go through them. There's four of each one. Um, and it's 100 GS, 100 GSM paper, 160 GSM paper, but it feels a lot thicker because um, they're foiled. So that's the second thing. The third thing I got. Oh, uh, that magazine was also found down for 4.99. The second, uh, third. I'm getting all confused now. Um, thing I got was another magazine. So I shall just move that off a minute. And this is issue 67, February 2016. Um, and I seen this one on there and I've wanted this one for such a long time. Because I just genuinely like like all the designs and stuff that they give you to try out. And yeah, it's, I don't know how many pages this has. Uh, I don't know. Um, but they also run competitions and stuff. Obviously, if you buy them late, you can have the competitions but that's not what I'm that's not what I'm about um but this came with free three free gifts um first one is a do crafts craft tape and it's just a blue and white that you probably can't see so let's open this one just a blue and white chevron design it probably looks light blue it's not it's white um but there's five meters on on that one um and i'm really not complaining at the fact that i'm getting free washi tape love the stuff um as you guys probably can tell from my videos uh the next thing that was free with this magazine again is a pack of little notes this one has 15 but it's from a different collection it's from the paper mania capsule collection uh the geometric mono I must say I do really like this one. So this one will probably be hoarded for a very long time. Just because I do like the and oh I love that one. It says dream on it. Love. Um hello. And they are just gently foiled and I think they're really sweet. Um oh, my buttons have just dropped off my desk. Never mind. Um so that's that one. And it also came with this capsule collection geometric neon a5 paper pack again 24 papers and it's this design this one this one this one and this one and this one yeah that's right yeah those wait one two three four five six yeah those six um that's just another copy of that one um but they are absolutely stunning and again they have foiling on but it's not overly foiled, which I quite like. Unlike the classic decadence that is in your face foiling. Um, so that's the three magazines I purchased from Do Crafts. They were all a pound each, and they all I didn't think they'd still come with their free gifts, um, which was a nice surprise for me. Um, because it's more paper packs, I'm not gonna complain about that. Um, so yeah, that's those. I did order a little bit more from there. Um I also picked up this foiled paper die cut pack thingy. Uh, A4 ultimate die cut and paper pack, 48 pieces. Um, I'm not going to open it on this video and show you everything, but you can see from the front. And I shall try and turn it over without knocking you guys over. And from the back, that it's black, white, and gold themed. My only issue is, because I have opened this one, is that I only get alpha stickers to M on both pages. I was a little bit gutted, because as you all know, love me alphabet stickers. But I'm not too bothered. It cost me 4 99 instead of 
six uh six ninety nine. Six ninety nine or fourteen? No, fourteen ninety nine. They were supposed to be. Um, and then because I have five brothers, a dad, and my boyfriend, um, so I have a lot of mails to scrapbook and card make for. So I bought the Mr. Smith's Workshop uh, Ultimate Die Cut and Paper Pack as well. And again, I'm not going to open this one. On camera I don't I don't want to bore you guys for an hour um, but again it comes with this one it comes with the full alphabet uh, this one doesn't and I don't know why and that kind of upsets me um, but yeah that again was 4.99 into the 14.99 um, down to the last two things now this wasn't supposed to be a double pack um, I ordered two by mistake I say by mistake, my partner gave me that look as if to say, yeah, right, but I did. But it's the Gorgeous Girls, The Fox, 8x8 paper pack. And I must say, I will show you the back, I must say I have never seen a paper pack like this. I have fallen in love and will probably hoard these for such a long time. And as you guys probably know, is this the open one? I'm just going to open this one for you so you can see what I'm talking about. In most Santoro goodies, um, especially the Gorgeous Girls, I'm not sure about the others, um, but the packaging has extra die cuts and stuff in. So, uh, well, not die cuts, but you can cut them out yourself. Um, it does say plus gorgeous toppers printed inside the pack. Um, and these cost me £3.50 instead of 6 99 each so they were £3.50 each but there's 32 papers you know so I've got 64 it kind of makes it easier on me because there's only one of each I think Hang on. yeah there's only one of each paper so now I have two I can't complain. Um, so that's everything from Do Crafts. Again, I'm just going to move it awkwardly out of the way. Because you guys don't need to carry on looking at it. And I need the space. Uh, <laughs> Stick one in the bag. Put one over here. Um, next, I've kind of been shopping around in my local town. Um, and I went, because I watched Scrappy Nerd UK's video, um, on hand stitching, I was like, oh my god, I need to do this. Um, so thank you so much, Claire, for, um, giving me the inspiration and the courage, because I've wanted to do it for such a long time, um, to try this. So I went and bought a sewing kit, only a pound, um, because I needed, I wanted the thin cotton I don't want to start off with a thick cotton I want to get me bearings first but it came with needles uh one two three no one two three four five six seven eight and twelve different threads and then it also oh it might tell us on the bottom hang on no uh but it also comes with a tape measure a little pair of scissors a needle threader and a plastic thimble and for a pound. Can't complain. Um, but it was from like my local little corner shop. Sorry, I've knocked you off completely, gone whack. Never mind. Um, then our local Bricknell stationery in my town is shutting down. Um, just basically because they don't get enough custom, which is a shame. I don't like seeing stationery or art shops close down. So me and my partner went in today, um, and I love that they give you a paper bag, that makes me so happy. But, I bought from there, sorry I'm just trying to tangle myself up now, a wadge of white cardstock for uh, 250 GSM, uh, 8 and a half 
by 11 or A4 size white card the m maximum of £1.50 for all of that there's got to be over 50 sheets there um, so yeah it was chaffed to pieces with that I have to move it slightly off camera as my camera goes nuts um, I also picked up from there these I know it's in a little envelope but I don't want to lose them they are quite small I bought some book rings um, they're just the oh okay it's now not going to open for me oh they are tough yeah just little tiny ones um, just because I want to start making some bits and pieces with them for these were five pence a piece um, I have 11 because I miscounted well I bought one and then I sent my partner back to get five five so I'd have six and he bought me ten because he's a dear so yeah um, I keep them in this little envelope so that I don't lose them because I have a knack of losing small things um, so yeah that's that one I then went to the pen section and I bought these uh, I bought the white Pentel hybrid gel grip DX so this is the medium point um, they write really smoothly I have a new scrapbook with black paper and one with craft paper and I thought white pens would be really nice so I also bought the oh you guys can't see that hybrid gel grip um, like smaller like normal gel pen tip um, but I bought two in white oh oh I'm missing a pen oh really where have I put that one um never mind I can explain uh, I bought two of the metallic um hybrid gel grip dx I bought one in silver and one in gold I don't know where I put my gold one disappeared off the face of the earth obviously it's my house um I then bought some Pentel paint markers. I've used these before and I think they're brilliant because they're like permanent markers. I do have a bit of an obsession with metallic markers. Um, but please don't tell anybody. <laughs> um, oh, I never said how much I got these for. These were all 50 pence each. And these were even less, I think. I think these were about 25 pence each. Um, so I bought the super fine point medium in silver they didn't have any of the super fine in gold but never mind i can look for that um so i got two in the gold of the medium point because i do go through gold quite a lot um but yeah that's everything i've bought in the last couple of weeks um I'm now going to put myself on a spending cruise because I really, really don't need any more. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know it's quite a rambly video. I don't know how to do non-rambly. Um, I try. It fails. Um, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that and that you like and subscribe. Um, and I am going to get into doing some process videos. My only problem is, is I'm left-handed. And where the camera sits, it's very close. Um, and you, I, I know you guys don't particularly care, but I do pick at my hands quite a lot, so they do get quite scabby and gross. Um, but yeah, uh, if you have any questions about anything I've bought, please don't hasten to, to ask. Um, I will answer it as best as I possibly can. Sometimes I do get it wrong. I'm a human. Um, but yeah, please like, subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks guys, bye!